Parker Hansen with the Bobcat Innovation Team, and I, I focus on autonomy, but we're going to be talking about electrification. Uh, and really what I have behind me here is our brand new concept vehicle, the Rogue X, which is based upon our all-electric platform. Um, so this came about uh, after we had debuted the T7X, which was the first all-electric compact track loader. Uh, and when I say all electric, it's because there is no hydraulics on this machine. Um, we have a battery that powers both the electric drives and the electric actuators uh, to let the machine do its work. So uh, the first uh, of really the industry in terms of all electric um, for what powers and moves this machine. We're just entering production for the T7X. Uh, we're going into kind of a, a limited build, uh, but that machine uh, will be going out into the field. Um, the first units will be going to Sunbelt Rentals. Um, so that'll be the first opportunity for a lot of the United States um, to get a glimpse into that machine uh, and production to come after that for a lot of our dealers. With uh, the T7X, we have 40% less parts uh, than our, our T76 counterparts, so a lot less to maintain. So you have no air filters, no oil filters, so a lot less, less maintenance for the, uh, the operator uh, to check on day in and day out. Um, so the T7X, uh, yeah, like I said, will be going out into the field. Um, and then the S7X will be coming soon after that. Skid steers is our bread and butter. That's what we started with you know, over 65 years ago when we invented this industry. Uh, we started with a skid steer. And so after we learned all the benefits of the all electric platform for tracks, um, we ultimately just went to skid steers because that's what we knew. And so from that point, uh, we saw the benefits of um, a longer battery life. It doesn't take as much to turn the wheels on the S7X uh, compared to the track loader. Um, so you get a little bit more time out of the S7X um, compared to the T7X. So when we, we took on this project and we challenged ourselves, uh, we kind of did a double jump in terms of what electric means for Bobcat. And you know we could have put a battery inside the machine and powered our hydraulic system, uh, but we wanted to maybe step above that and see what all electric could mean. And so with these actuators, we get a lot of power and it's instantaneous torque. So, you know, the performance of the, uh, the actuators in terms of lifting and tilting and digging, uh, you get a lot of power out of this machine. I would say the first challenge that, that we took was um, having the performance meet that of our diesel hydraulic. And what I mean by that is making sure that the operator can get into the machine and it feels like something that they're used to. Um, so a lot of work went into making sure that we could tune the electric components to you know, drive and respond like the, the diesel machine or the lift and the tilt that it would feel like what it is that they wanted out of the hydraulic machine. So you know, after a lot of development back and forth, our software engineers uh, putting the, the work in, uh, we were able to tune it. And personally, I think the performance of this machine might even boast out of the, the diesel hydraulics. So um, that was one big challenge in the beginning, but I think we overcame that. And, you know, honestly, it really comes down to trying the machine. Uh, there's a few skeptics out there as far as you know what this what this is, but uh, I'll say once they get in and they they understand and they feel it, um, a lot of that goes away. And then we're going on to the to the Rogue X, is the is the all new one. And uh, you say you, you you are developing autonomous systems, right? You're, you're that's part of your your job. Correct. This is not an autonomous vehicle yet. No, it's uh, it's just the start of uh, what we're concepting in terms of the all-electric platform for a cabless unit. And so with this unit, uh, I would say it, it enables all the features that we're gonna be using for an autonomy platform. Um, so we'll operate this remotely, and then we'll start to be able to add on other sensors, uh, like our, our brand new radar sensors that we're also debuting, uh, and then other technologies for perception, uh, GPS, things of that nature. So then we can start to get into those areas where autonomy comes into play.